Hi, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. Friends, this video is going to be very interesting. Today I will tell you a lot of amazing things related to dreams. Like why do we dream? Does dreaming serve any purpose? What goes on inside our brain while dreaming? What is sleep paralysis and why some people have a habit of walking during sleep? Here you will get answers to all these highly interesting questions related to dreams on the basis of science. All you have to do is just to watch this video till the end. So let's start. Friends, our brain keeps collecting information related to everything we do throughout the day. Our mind keeps on doing this continuously, knowingly or unknowingly. And all this information is stored in our brain as memory. While sleeping, our unconscious mind keeps scanning all these stored memories so that we can use this information in a better way on the next day. During scanning, the information which the brain considers useful is kept, but it destroys the useless information or keeps it safe in any corner of the brain, like a zipped folder in the computer. But when these all processings are going on in our brain, we see different kinds of images. But our conscious mind cannot understand what is going on and keeps trying to make some sense of it according to itself. These random images that our conscious mind cannot understand properly appear to us as dreams. So dreams help us to store important memories and get rid of unimportant memories. So friends, now you know why we see dreams and what is their purpose. Do you know, while sleeping, our mind is either in the REM stage or non-REM stage. REM stands for rapid eye movement and non-REM means non-rapid eye movement. Many types of activities such as sleepwalking, sleep paralysis, lucid dreaming, etc. occur only in this REM stage. Many people would think that our brain is at rest while sleeping, but it is not so. Actually, when we sleep, our brain becomes even more active. When researchers studied the electrical activities of the brain of a sleeping person, they found that the electrical activities of the brain while sleeping were exactly the same as when awake. As you know, the muscles of our body stop moving when we are asleep and our body becomes very calm and motionless. Do you know why this happens? Actually, chemicals like histamine and serotonin stop being formed in our brain during the sleep. That is the reason why we see different types of experiences like running, flying in the air, jumping, etc. in our dreams. But no movement happens in our body. So now you have understood how the chemicals coming out of the brain control the muscles of the body. After knowing this information, you can now easily understand why sleep walking and sleep paralysis occurs. Actually, when there is some imbalance in these brain chemicals while sleeping, a person may start moving his arm and legs and sometimes may fall down from the bed. But whenever the chemical imbalance is too much, then the person starts walking in his sleep. This is what we call sleep walking. Now we will understand what is sleep paralysis and why it happens. Friends, has it ever happened to you that you have suddenly woken up from a deep sleep but are not able to move your body at all? But this happens only for a while and after some time, you have complete control over your body. This is called sleep paralysis. Actually, this is because when you wake up suddenly from sound sleep, then you know that you are awake. But your mind thinks that you are still sleeping in the REM stage. That's why you are not able to move your body for some time. At this time, you are in a condition known as sleep paralysis. So friends, now you know why we see dreams and how they are useful for us. Now, whenever you see someone walking or shaking hands and feet in sleep, do not be afraid. As you now know that this all is just the imbalancing of brain chemicals. And don't be worried if you have sleep paralysis after waking up from deep sleep, as it's all due to short-term confusion of our brain. So friends, if you liked this video, then tell me by writing in the comment section of the video. And if you found it informative and interesting, then please like and share it. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Engineering Made Easy, for more such interesting videos. Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and take care.